Association with Movement to pr pr promote improved extension. Yeah, and this okay. is better in what stage of healing do you guys think? If we're going to go like this. Fibroblastic. 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 End and of maturation. Fibroblastic. Yeah. End of fibroblastic. Yeah. Because they're going to have probably a little bit of pain with end range, external rotation at 90 degrees. They might with a lot of pathology. Yeah. So you want to make sure, again, that this is pain-free everywhere. Totally. Okay. So we're going to do our, our assessment. So I'm going to have Chad sit up nice and tall. Uh, Sean, do you want to come on around here? Sure. I know this is a little awkward. Okay. So we're going to have him, and if you guys want to do it on yourself, okay, you have to kind of be nice and tall. You really are tucking your elbows down towards your belt, okay? It's not folding in half because that's more lumbar. We're trying to isolate out your um, thoracic spine, and then you're going to look up towards the ceiling and open your elbows. Okay, pop, pop, pop. All right. So we're gonna see that as we watch Chad, we're gonna watch him. So as he goes into extension, go eat as much as you can. And what do you guys see? Nope, and where does he go? Lumbar. Right here and right here, okay? So we know he's not really getting in into that uh, thoracic spine into extension. And we, we require extension of the thoracic spine to make sure that the glenohumeral rhythm stays. Okay, so to prevent his back from coming to play, I'm gonna actually have him cross his leg. So, and some of them can't, some gentlemen and even some women can't cross knee over knee. It's fine, you can cross ankle over knee, okay? We're just trying to pin that down. So I'm gonna have Chad go through that one more time. So he's gonna come into it and then go up as high as he can. So you guys see how that helps pin his uh, lumbar spine down a little bit more? <laughs> Okay, so there's a couple of ways that we're going to do this. You're going to use your thenar eminence and your hypothenar eminence, and I'm going to apply an upward rotation as he's going. I'm trying to fulcrum him over my hand, okay? You have to get close to your patient. So you can come in this way so that you're here, and as he's going, you're giving him that. You're pushing posterior and upward, okay? So, anterior and superior. Anterior and yeah. superior, sorry. In the posterior direction. Yep, yeah. oh. okay. So, I'm going here, pushing up as he goes, trying to get him to fulcrum over that. I'm going to work my way up, okay? So, I usually typically start about T8, T7, T8, okay? Work into that mid thoracic spine and back down. I want him to go with me, though, okay? And we're really trying to crank on that and get him moving. You okay? Yeah. And then I might find a level and I'm going to work there as much as I can. Where's your front arm stabilizing? Good. Okay. okay. Whew. Let's retest it. A little bit better. Okay. I wouldn't say fantastically better, but a little bit better. Okay.